Hello and welcome dear traders and investors. I'm glad to present you the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from fx.co portal. Here we go. Today is the 1st of November and we're starting from euro dollar pair with Jakub Novak. But first, let's have a look on 5 minute chart for analyzing yesterday's transactions. The test of the price at 1.0641 occurred when the MACD indicator had just started to move down from the zero line, which served as a confirmation of an entry point for short positions in the afternoon. As a result, the pair fell by more than 50 pips. Quick Eurozone quarterly GDP data, which indicated a slowdown in economic growth, as well as strong US data on consumer confidence levels, exerted pressure on risk assets and so the dollar was in demand again. Today, in the absence of Eurozone data in the first half of the day, buyers will get a chance to correct higher ahead of the crucial Federal Reserve meeting and the release of the US labor market report. We will discuss them in more detail in the next forecast. Today you can buy euro when the price reached around 1.0582 and take profit at the price of 1.0612. We recommend exiting the market at 1.0612 and selling the euro in the opposite direction targeting a 30-35 point move from the entry point. Euro growth can be expected only as a part of a minor correction before the Federal Reserve announces its interest rate decision. Before buying, make sure that the MACD line indicator is above the zero level and has just started to rise from it. Euro can also be bought after two consecutive price tests of 1.0565, while the MACD indicator is in an oversold zone. This will limit the downward potential of the pair and lead to a market reversal upward. Expect an increase to the opposite levels of 1.0582 and 1.0612. You can sell the euro after it reached the level of 1.0565. The target will be 1.0542, where we recommend exiting the market and buying the euro immediately in the opposite direction, aiming for a 20-25 point move in the opposite direction from the level. Pressure on the pair will increase in case the pass fails to break above the daily high. Important, before selling make sure that the MACD line is below zero or just starting to down, move down from it. You can also sell the euro today if there are two consecutive price tests of 1.0582, while the MACD indicator is in the overboard zone. This will limit the upward potential of the pair and lead to a market reversal downward. Expect a decrease to the opposite levels of 1.0565 and 1.0542. Gold, sweet gold. We've got a trading plan for this commodity asset presented by Dimitrios Tapas. Early in the European session, gold is trading around 1980, below the 21 SMA and above the 200 EMA. On the H1 chart, we can see that gold broke the uptrend channel which has been underway forming since October 24th. Now it's expected to continue falling in the coming hours until it finds support around the 78 Muri level, 1968. Yesterday during the American session, 
gold reached a high of 2008 USD. Since then, it made a strong technical correction. Now it's consolidating around 1978 and is expected to fall towards the 1968 zone as its next target in the coming hours. Gold could find strong support around 1975 and a technical rebound could occur from this level at 1990, 21 SMA. In case gold breaks below 1975, it's expected to find the next support at 1968, which could be seen as an opportunity to buy. On the H1 chart, we can see that gold is oversold. The eagle indicator reached the 5-point zone, which represents that an imminent rebound could occur in the coming days. Our trading plan for the next few hours is to buy gold only in case it trades between 1975 and 1968. On the other hand, in case gold reached the 1990 zone or the 1995 level, it could be seen as a signal to sell, with targets at 1968 and 1936. And now it's time for USDCAD currency pair, Petr Ikimovic describes. USDCAD has been trading sideways at the price of 1.3880 and Petar sees potential for the breakout mode. Due to the defined upside trend on the short-term perspective and potential bull flag pattern in creation, Petar sees potential for the further upside continuation in case of a breakout of 1.3900. Upside objective is set at the price of 1.3970. Alternative scenario in case of the breakdown of the support at 1.3800 and hold below, there is the chance for the drop towards 1.3670. RSI oscillator is showing positive reading and upside condition. What about cross currency pairs? Now it's time for AUD JPY pair. Area of Mockmore presents. On the 4 hour chart, the AUD JPY cross currency pair seems to be moving above its MA365. And the appearance of a bullish 1, 2, 3 pattern, followed by several bullish Ross hooks, indicates that AUD JPY has the potential to appreciate up to level 96.10. And if this level is successfully broken upwards, the next levels that will be tested are 96.45 and 96.86. But if on the way to these levels suddenly there is a downward correction movement until it breaks below the 95.27 level, then the strengthening scenario described previously will cancel itself. And finally, here's Laurie Bailey with AUD USD pair focused. Let's have a look. The Australian dollar has been stuck in a 0 0.6295, 0 0.6385, 0 0.6388 range 
for quite some time. Yesterday, after reaching the balance indicator line on the daily time frame chart, the pair fell without even trying to rise, unlike other counter dollar currencies. The Marlin oscillator signal line turned downward from the zero line, separating the bearish and bullish potential. In general, if the price falls below the support level at 0.6295 after the FOMC meeting, we expect the pair to aim for 0.6171, October 2022 low. If the price stays above the MACD indicator line, 0.6408, we expect to rise it towards 0.6514. On the 4-hour chart, the price has settled below the balance indicator line, it's a red line on graphic, and the MACD line, it's blue line on graphic. The modern oscillator is descending in negative territory. We expect the downward to remain intact. That's all for today. See you online soon and good luck.